Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we deploy Spring Boot application on Google App Engine. So here I have written a blog. You can find link of this blog in the description. From there you can follow the steps. I will just explain how I deployed my simple Spring Boot application on Google App Engine. So first of all you have to go to the GCP and create a billing account. In that search for App Engine and create application there. Then after that we have to create Spring Boot application whatever you want to deploy. Uh, I just created here a simple Spring Boot application which is having a, a web dependency. So here is a directory structure you can find. Here the you can go to the Spring Initializer and add the dependency that is web or you can go to STS and and create a Spring Boot application with the web dependency. So after creating the project, I have created one package with the name controller. In that package, I have created one class hello controller. So in the hello controller, I have just uh, annotated with the rest controller. And here is the endpoint that is high. So it will return high. Then after creating this project, Spring Boot project, it's time to deploy. So what you have to do in the bottom right corner you will see the cloud shell option you have to open the that cloud shell then what you have to do is uh, after opening the cloud shell what we have to do is we have to click on these three dots then you can see here upload so you just need to upload the folder that is spring boot project folder whatever you have in your machine that you have to upload so as you can see here you will get upload option then you have to select the folder then choose the folder and you have to upload otherwise what you can do is uh, if you have a github repository github and uh, you have project your project spring boot project on github you can clone that on this cloud shell so i have uploaded the spring boot project then after that to check whether it is uploaded or not we have to uh, check with this command ls then if you see the folder whatever you have created then that means it is uploaded successfully so here you can see i have given that now what next step you have to do is you have to uh, go within this folder that is our project folder so in order to go to this we have to write this command on the cloud shell that is cd project that is folder name so change the direct to directory to this our project then in order to deploy this project you have to run this command that is gcloud app deploy then after that after some time on the cloud shell you will get one question do you want to continue you have to just say yes then after that if you want to do you want to continue after click uh, typing yes your application will be deployed successfully then if you want to check whether the application is running or not what you have to do you can do is in the cloud shell just run this command that is gcloud app browse what you have to do you have to run this command in the cloud shell gcloud app browse then below that you will get one link you will get the url you have to click on that url and whatever url we will get at the end you have to type your endpoint that you have to test in my case here i will type hi then i will get hi as a message so after running this command you will get one url and at the end of if you want to check click on the url and at the end type your endpoint that you have created as in my case i have created hi so i will get my message in my browser so this is a way you can deploy 
your Spring Boot application on Google App Engine. So I will repeat it once again. So first of all, you have to go to the GCP enable billing, then create application in Google App Engine. Then create a simple Spring Boot application you want to deploy. In my case, I have created this simple hello controller annotated with the rest control and here I have created this get mapping hi then open the cloud shell after that I have uploaded the project folder then you can check whether it is uploaded or not by using ELS then change directory to the your project folder after that you have to run the command gcloud app deploy then it will ask for some question do you want to continue yes then run your run the below command that is gcloud app browse you will get the url at the end of the url uh, type your api endpoint that you want to check then after that you will get the result so i will give link of this blog in the description from there you can check the steps and follow the same so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel.